What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and here's my next Top 10 Tweaks Part 10 video. So there have been so many tweaks, I've had to group them into separate videos. I mean, there's just too much to list in one video, but as with every video like this, some of these have been updated from iOS 7, some of these are brand new, and I think you guys will like all of them. And also, you guys will need to be jailbroken, of course, in order to do any of this. It's completely worth it to jailbreak. The full guide is down below right there. And in order to install some of these, you guys will need a separate source. And if you want to see the full list and a couple bonus tweaks, click right there. That link will take you to my website with the full list, the sources necessary, and some bonus tweaks there. Anyways, guys, I'm really excited to share these with you. There's some really good ones in here. And of course, these do work with iOS 7, iOS 8, all the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus models. You know, the larger display usually causes some trouble, but it does work very well. I have tested it, and this does work on iPads as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and begin. All right, now the very first tweak is called Camerix, and this is brand new. I think you guys will really like it. So let me activate it real quick. I have it set to double tap the status bar. And what it does is it brings up this little camera box or circle on top of any Anything you may be doing, whether it's browsing the springboard or actually inside of any application. So as you can see, it brings up this camera and from here you can take pictures and record video. Just take a picture, tap once, takes a picture, record, just hold it and that red ring around the circle or the square, whichever one it's set to, will tell you that it is recording. So super cool. Now there are some cool settings you can play around with. If you want to get rid of it, just drag it down to the bottom till it turns red and there you go. So let me go ahead and show you the settings. Now inside of here, all you have to do is enable it first off and there's the activation method and you have your front or rear facing camera settings right there. Now here is where the shape is. So I personally like the circle, it fits in with iOS well, but if you want a rounded rectangle, it works good too. So let's say you're browsing settings or doing anything, messaging someone and you wanna take a picture real quick without actually even having to go into the camera application, just activate Camerix and there you go. So you can take a picture while doing your stuff down here, really cool. So I think this is really functional it's called Camrix, and I would totally recommend this one. I just want to show you a couple settings, so let me get rid of this real quick. So here is the small camera size, and you can change the border color as well. I think that's super cool. So I'm going to double tap that, and there you go. It's a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit out of your way. You can still do your stuff down here, and if you want to take a picture, just do that. I could see this being useful in certain situations. Maybe you're at a game, and you want to take some pictures at a concert, but you actually want to do your stuff. I don't know. I mean, up to you guys what you make of it, but it's a really cool tool. Now, next up, here's convergence. If you guys are tired of the stock iOS lock screen, this really does make a huge difference. Now, the goal of the developer was to you know, get rid of the old and introduce something new and flavorful to iOS, and this is what it does. Convergence completely replaces your lock screen with this really cool lock screen. Now, how it works is to slide to unlock, you now slide up using this little guy right here, and it does slide to unlock. Of course, it is password compatible and everything. And if you slide over, you have a selection of apps that you can put here that you can shortcut to real quick. I think this is super neat. Now, of course, it is all password guarded. So if you want to get into there, you're going to need to enter a password. And on the left, if you scroll over here, you actually have your system toggles. Now, it's not that these toggles are there. There are other tweaks that do that. It's the fact that it's so well blended together and it works really well. Now, really cool. If you actually drag down from here, you can see you have some widgets up here. First off, there's some data for um, the internet right here. And then you have weather data if you put that in, calendar events, and it's so cool how well this works. If you want to get rid of it again, just drag this up and you're back to your lock screen. Now your battery slider works right there, really sleek. The font even changes. I just think this is a very well-made lock screen replacement and it works very well. All the toggles work. Everything is just very well blended, like I said. This will completely replace your lock screen and I think it does a very well job at that. So you guys may have noticed on my home screen, the layout is a little bit different and that's thanks to Home Screen Designer. Personally, I think it's not a very well-made tweak, but what it can accomplish is very good looking. So you can actually move icons behind icons. And this is very similar to Gridlock and the upcoming tweak called Anchor. It's just less user-friendly, but it does work. And I just want to show you how it does that. Now, let's say you want to edit a layout. So what you would have to do is go into saved and here is your default. So in here, you know, you want to go ahead and select modify. And then from here, all you have to do is drag around the applications where you want to put them. This is how I set mine. So they go a little bit behind each other. You can move them around however you want. And that's the beauty of this is you just set a layout, you know, whatever you like, just, just to be a little bit different. And uh, let's just say this. 
Now I'm not, you know, taking any time with this, just hurrying up. Now down here, just click save and uh, save portrait and landscape, you know, call it whatever you want. And now when I go to saved, as you can see, I did save this guy right here. So apply layout, select this, save. And now when you go back to your home screen, it'll be just like you set it. So the cool thing about this is that you can have unlimited possibilities. And let me just show you how this works. It looks a little bit funny, but these actually move into place right there. I think it's uh, pretty entertaining. So you can actually get some pretty cool layouts with this. It's called Home Screen Designer and just ultimate control over your layout. So this is actually a really small one. There's just one toggle in settings to toggle it on and off, but it's called Cheesecake. And what it does is brings the fade animation from Android to iOS. I'm gonna show you a couple cool Android features in this actual video because, you know, it's nice bringing over features from Android to iOS. So check it out. That's how the fade works. It just fades completely out like that, uh, taken straight from Android but it looks really cool and I think it fits very well into iOS. Now another tweak taken straight from Android and one that I love it for is called alternate controls. So if you slide up from the bottom right of your display, it brings up this cool Android switcher. So in here you have the option to go into your app switcher and you know, you can do that toggle it right there. And then if I slide up again, you know, if I'm inside of any application, I have the option to go home just a home button replacement. And where it applies, you have the option to go back using this guy right here. So really cool. You know, this is just a little feature taken from Android, but I think it fits in very well with iOS as well, especially with the lock screen fade cheesecake tweak I just showed you. You know, this is really cool, very light tweak. And uh, no, there's no reason not to install it if it's something you want. Now here's Fatigo, Fotigo, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it basically allows you to add an extra layer of security into your photos. So if anyone ever gets into your photos, and that's assuming you aren't protected with a tweak called BioProtect, and they want to delete a photo of yours, so if I go to select, click this guy, and I want to delete it, it'll ask you for your Touch ID in order to confirm that you want to delete it. And this applies to sharing the photos as well. So if you want people to see your photos, but you don't want them to send them to themselves or delete them or modify them in any way, this gives you the protection to do that. So, you know, if you can confirm with your finger, there you go, you can delete the photo now, but only after doing that. So, you know, really cool. Every single time it does ask you and really convenient, just a little extra security to your photos on iOS. So here's Subtle Lock for iOS 8. Now this isn't anything new, it's just been updated. And I gotta say, it's one of the best lock screen tweaks there are for iOS, just based on how simple it is. You know, it's very sleek. You know, you have your time up here, this stuff right there, and you can modify how it looks and all. And you just have this nice subtle looking lock screen with your wallpaper. You know, if you have a good wallpaper, it makes for a really nice effect. So now nothing too special about it, but I just liked it for the simplicity. And there are some options you can play with, I'll show you that. So there are some clock settings in here. There's a subtle, there's a dual clock, which shows both and uh, time zones. You can mess around with that. Now you can choose the slider if you want to hide it or not. You have that. And then there's some miscellaneous little features in here. So, and you do actually have to respring on effects. I really like how most tweaks nowadays don't have to do that, but you know, you do have to do that with this tweak. So subtle lock is a very cool tweak and you can choose different time zones for the clocks. You know, if you travel a lot in between, you know, really nice, really simple. So this is actually one of my favorites out of the ones I will be showing you today. It's called cover flow. And I want you guys to install this because of just how neat it is. So inside of your music application, it's kind of bland, but after you install this and you play a song, by the way, you guys have to listen to this. I heard this first in Taken 3, and this is an awesome song. Uh, as you can see, everything looks different. It's just a little colorful. Now, based on the stock iOS application, you just have your cover art up here, and everything else is just white and black. You know, it's kind of boring. But what this tweak does is it analyzes the thumbnail, and it'll actually, accordingly, color everything according to that. So if I skip through a few songs, I want you guys to see that, you know, everything is different. So... Let me go through and it actually does a very good job of color matching. It looks so cool. Now, the same thing applies on your lock screen. Your entire lock screen will change to the colors depending on the album art. So if I skip through, as you guys can see, it does a really cool job of that. And I got to say, I totally would recommend this one. It completely changes the look of your music application for the better. So guys, here's YouTube to MP3. It's a separate application inside of Cydia that you download and using it, you can actually do something really useful and that's save YouTube videos, the audio, the MP3 audio, and actually import them inside of your music application. So I'm actually just gonna use my video as an example. I'm gonna convert this to MP3 and right here, it'll show you the actual progress. So it rips the MP3 straight from the video. And then once it is done, you can actually send it over to your music 
music application and save it, you know, add cover art, all that. I'll show you that in just a second. So that has finished and you can play it from inside of here. You know, I don't want to listen to myself here, but also what you can do is go to music and see this guy. And if you click on this little guy right here, you can say add to iPod and in here you can name it whatever you want, add an artist. Uh, this is primarily intended for music, but I don't condone any of that. Just saying this is a really useful tool for importing audio into your music application. You can add album art right here. Super cool. So here's Circulate. As you can see, my clock actually has an individual theme. You know, it's unrelated to Winterboard. It's a separate tweak. It's called Circulate. And in here, I just want to show you several themes. So. I have the circles one enabled right now. Let's see rising bars. So it's a little bit different. Uh, you have that in there. You have solar. And, you know, it's just a little unique way to mix up the clock on iOS. And then you can have that right there. So really simple, really cool. Just change up the look of the clock in iOS. And guys, there you go. That's my top 10 tweaks part 10 video. I do hope you enjoyed most of these. I actually really like personally the Camrix, the color flow for the music application. And I like this little clock guy right here. Oh, and the lock screen convergence. That thing is really cool too. So I do hope you enjoyed these. Again, check out the full list and some bonus tweaks down below in the description or just click right there. You know, it'll take you to my website. And if you guys want to check out more of my videos, click them. I mean, I have so much more jailbreak content on my channel. And with iOS 8.1.3 coming out next week or so, from what I've been hearing, you guys should be on the latest 8.1.2 by now. If you're not, you should update because this will be the last jailbreakable firmware for a while. Anyways, enjoy the tweaks, guys. Peace.